morning. We're ready for our next English lesson. We're going to do lesson 23 today. We're going to be talking about capitalizing titles. Very important. Let's look at page 45 at the very top. There's just four things for us to remember. Now, whenever you write the title of anything, a book, a poem, or a story, or anything you write, a movie, you always have to capitalize the first letter, I'm sorry, the first word, and the last word, and then any of the important words in between. Now, when I say important words, the words that you don't have to capitalize would be words like and, or, but, for, the, things like that. You don't have to uppercase those, but the other ones that you do. So look at number one at the top, llamas on the loose. Notice llamas and loose are capitalized, but on and the, they're not important words, so you don't have to capitalize those. Look at Johnny and his mule. Johnny and his mule are capitalized, but and is not important, so you don't have to case that. Alone over the Atlantic. Notice they just did alone in Atlantic. All right, look at number two. Book titles. Oh, and also, I'm sorry, look back at number one. I wanted to tell you this too. Notice how Johnny and his mule and alone over the Atlantic have quotation marks around them, but llamas on the loose is italicized. Notice that. Keep that in mind. Number two, book titles. The titles of a book, not stories, a book have to be capitalized and underlined. Look at there, medallion, that's a book. So you uppercase it and you underline it. Iceland Adventure, that's just a story. So you would you would capitalize it, but you don't underline it. Look at Susanna Strikes Gold. All three of those are capitalized because those are all three important words. And you would underline it because it's the name of a book. Now, number three, use quotation marks around the titles of stories and poems. That's why I told you to remember that. So look at the story, The Rich Man and Lazarus. Now that's a story. Notice what's capitalized, the, because it's the first word. And rich man, <coughs> Lazarus. The word and is not important, and it's in the middle, so you don't have to uppercase that. And it has quotation marks around it because it's the name of a story, not a book. And the poem, Cherry Time, both words are capitalized, and they have quotation marks around them. It's a poem. And there's another story, Pecos Bill Gets a Wife. Notice what's uppercased. Pecos Bill Gets and Wife. A uh, is not an important word. You wouldn't have to uppercase that unless it was the first word in, this, in the title, and it has quotation marks around it. All right, now, number four, capitalize the names of the Bible, its divisions, and its books. So, God's Word would be uppercased. New Testament, Holy Bible, Romans 8.28, anything that you write, anything generally, I always just say, say if it has to do with God or the Bible, uh, you would uppercase it so because it's very important. Okay, let's look at the guided practice then. You are going to get to practice, and I would like for you to go ahead and pause it while you work on this, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to scan my page. That way I can put it up there and you can see the answers and check your work yourself. I think it's a little bit better for you to do that on this kind of stuff rather than me work with you through it. Okay, so you'll want to look back up there on the yellow box in order to fill these out. Now, I'm not grading page 45. This is just a practice page to see what you can remember, okay? But your assignment will be page 46, and I will grade that. So go ahead and pause it and see what you can do with this page. Okay, here's the answers to your guided practice that you just did. Can you check that for me right quick? All right, I hope you got those right. Anything you missed, you don't have to put an X on it. You can just either erase it and write it correctly, or you can mark it out and write it correctly beside it or whatever you need to do, okay? All right, your assignment then for a grade is to do page 46. And on the apply and write at the bottom, you need to pick a book and a story. 
that you've read or that you liked, and then you need to write it correctly. Make sure that you underline the name of the book and you put quotation marks around the name of the story. Okay, that's all for today.